WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory. Might get another record close out there. Right now, S&P is positive by three points, trading at 31.97. Dow Jones up by 82, trading at 28,317. NASDAQ positive by seven points, trading at 88.21. Gold contract up by $1 so far, trading at 14.81. We've got oil having a positive day up 67 cents at $60.88. Notes and bonds, pretty muted action, but getting some higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up three ticks at 128.16. The 30 are up three ticks as well, trading at 156.30. And the dollar index up 149 ticks at 97.167. We'll start things off, and we're going to start it off with a chart of the 10 year yield. A little bit of volatility, as I mentioned, currently sitting at 1.87%. Pretty remarkable that on Friday, we were up there at 1.95. You saw an acceleration all the way down to almost 1.8, back up to 1.9. The volatility continues in those bonds. Jumping over to the indices, we'll start things off with the Dow. Right up there near session highs, 28,334. Looking at the March futures contract, quite a run since about 6 a.m. We're talking about 150 Dow points from where we were trading at early in the morning. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. NASDAQ 100 currently trading at 86.08, right in the middle of the trading range for the day. S&Ps off the highs a bit as well, 31.99. I say a bit, we're only talking about three or four S&P points. The high, pre-market, 3203, just trading pennies away from 3200 in the March futures contract. There's your crude oil chart, quite an acceleration to higher prices. Made it to a high just after 11 a.m. of $60.96, currently trading at $60.85. Gold contract, $14.81, just kind of been hanging around between about $14.79 and $14.82. And the euro U.S. dollar trading at $111.52. In terms of currencies out there, there's your dollar index in the top left quadrant, 97.168. We have the euro trading at 111.52. The pound pulling back a bit as Boris Johnson passing a bill that will create a hard deadline towards the end of 2020 that could see a hard Brexit. Pound losing a little bit on that. And the yen trading 109.46. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up live with the Trader's Edge at 1 o'clock. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien. Live at 3. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.